In this short video, I will discuss the physiology of menstrual cycle, which is very much essential for ultrasound. At the end of this video, there will be a question, don't forget it. An average menstrual cycle lasts 28 days. This is day 1 and that is day 28. Or we can say week 1, week 2, week 3 and week 4. But it may vary between 25 days to 35 days. Here we consider a cycle of 28 days. The first day of the cycle is considered the first day of bleeding or menstruation. The hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis regulates the normal menstrual cycle. Immediately after starting of the bleeding or day one, the pituitary gland secretes follicle stimulating hormone and that is increasing up to the med cycle or day 14. This follicle stimulating hormone as the name indicates is stimulating the follicles at ovary to be enlarged and become dominant. When the follicle grows, it produces estrogen. In this estrogen will induce endometrial regeneration. Dominant follicle or graphene follicle develops containing the egg. This is the dominant follicle and which contains the egg. In the size at this stage when we call it dominant follicle is in between 17 and 27 millimeter. At midpoint a large surge of the pituitary secreted luteinizing hormone is causing the graphene follicle or the dominant follicle to be ruptured. So the ovum is released. In this process of releasing of ovum from the dominant follicle is called ovulation which occurs on day 14 or from day 12 to 15, 16. After ovulation the graphene follicle becomes corpus luteum produces progesterone. In this progesterone will prepare the uterine endometrium to receive a fertilized egg or zygote. If the egg is not fertilized, estrogen in the progesterone level will decrease which will cause bleeding or menses and the cycle repeats itself. The corpus luteum degenerates into the corpus albicans which is appeared as a small scar on the ovary. The changes in the endometrium also occur shortly after menstruation. The endometrium consists of the basalis layer and is inactive and thin. As ovulation approaches, an echogenic rim develops on either side of the thin endometrium. After ovulation has occurred, the area between the echogenic rim and the central line fills in with echoes when the patient is in the secretary phase. The question is, if a subsepted uterus is found in a patient, where else would you look? The options are gallbladder, B liver, C rectum, in the kidneys. This question will be answered in next video.